whatsapp youtube today's video is kind of off topic it's not even a vlog it's not about agi but it's about something that i have been you know going head on with for quite some time now and it's called stress well naturally stress is not really that a bad thing because it is kind of a signal that you're kind of pushing yourself but the thing is if you just do it too much you end up getting burnouts and burnouts is what i have been having problems lately with so burnouts my first burnout that i had was uh, in may this year and in before two weeks i also had one more burnout and it kind of sucks see there is no other way to talk about it because in burnout you don't feel good because um, you i'll talk about things in terms of work and uh, not about physical stress i'll talk much more about mental stress and how to handle it so whenever you are having a burnout uh, you don't feel good it's plain and simple the reason is because you want to do work but at the same time you are too exhausted that you can't do anything about it and throughout my through my experience i have come up with few things that i think uh, that will help me and i hope that it will help other people also <clears throat> so before we get into all of that Uh, the first thing we need to do is talk about what exactly is stress so stress is your natural response for any sudden physical or mental changes that you have so like i think people like really working hard would always identify with this thing that suddenly that in the beginning they have this huge jolt of motivation and they start working out Uh, not as in physical workout but as mental workout and uh, for the first few weeks they feel good because they are they still have their motivation going on and uh, that kind of keeps pushing them and after around one month or so you just notice that you really don't want to work anymore and it feels kind of off that why are you not able to work because it was going so well so what has just happened is that you're having mental stress because you have pushed yourself so much that in the beginning uh, the mind was able to you know somehow work with it because <clears throat> stress is a natural response and every time it's actually good for the body but we humans have you know especially me i have ended up using it when a when a very wrong way so yeah so what happens is that your body you end up using your body's natural responses natural reservoirs of i don't know what those things are but you actually keep pushing your body to a limit and after some time you just can't do it because you have exhausted your will power your resources and your mental health as you can say so that's how you know you get into stress because it's a sudden kind of a change you didn't start working like i'll just work one hour a day or two hours a day you directly jumped into working 10 hours a day well that kind of strategy does work when you're in you know high school or in college but i think if you're doing some long term work and if you keep pushing yourself you'll constantly find yourself you know getting into burnouts and interest me burnouts don't feel good people who already have burnouts they can really understand because it's kind of a very low moment for yourself in which you are full of you know anxiety anxiety that why is this happening to me of and the fear that that just because i am in this state i am going to miss on my targets and and that would have a you know cascading effects that you won't be able to achieve your target because because of whatever state that you are in because the thing is in those states you can't do anything like literally do anything your mind is so tired that 
it has no other option you know and you will have extreme mood swings and you will be very inconsistent in work your sleep cycle won't be really good and <clears throat> you can't do anything i had to learn it in a very hard way that uh, it's pointless to fight burnouts you know and uh, what happens is that since your brain is already so tired there is no way that you know you can avoid it uh you have to face it and which basically means you have to give it a rest it doesn't work any other way i have tried it the thing is if you push yourself to come more come outside of a burnout that's even worse because you are just prolonging the burnout so i had to learn it very hard way that you have to simply stop whatever you are doing that is the first thing you have to stop i repeat you have to stop if you keep fighting it it won't end so once you stop you have to get into few basic things that you need to work out right away you need to fix your sleep and you need to fix your nutrition what all food you are having and your sleep quality you need to sleep more because your brain desperately needs those rest those rest hours that you need that you extra and those extra sleeping hours that you should be you know giving to your brain all along which and you have kind of just ignored it and um, once you are in there in that state gradually your mind you know it will kind of start working out because your brains and our body they have their own natural thing natural resilience and uh, the, the body has the immunity and i think similarly brain also has something like like whenever you are sick you won't be in the same state of mind but you have to trust yourself that the better state of mind will eventually come and you have to be patient for that state of mind and once that comes you can actually you know go back and look into why you were you know in that state why you were having it, having that burnout so in general uh, what happens that i have noticed in my case is that the burnouts basically or the stress basically happens because you're for me in my it my in my case i was basically neglecting my sleep and i was smoking too much pot and i started it suddenly so i had quit it for a very long time and i started suddenly and i in the beginning i felt that it doesn't it's not really affecting my work performance so i can go ahead until i ended up having a serious burnout or a serious crash the previous burnout that i had was because of the way my work style was so in both these burnouts i realized that uh, that there are different ways in which you can handle burnouts as as in i told you already that the first thing is you need to relax but once you start feeling better and and trust me it will take days it's not like tonight i'll sleep well and tomorrow you'll feel good you need to give at least 4 or 5 days of very good sleep and more if you can give but if you're really trying to achieve your targets you'll try to keep that amount as small as possible so once you are in a good natural state you need to really you know reassess the way you have been working and it just doesn't mean your work style it also means your mental makeup and how you actually perceive things so the way to handle you know to cope with stress there are basically two main strategies which is task oriented approach and the another one is emotion oriented approach so with task oriented approach is what uh, how i coped with my stress the first time so basically it uh comes down to what expectations have are you having for yourself the thing is we live in times where everything is so i mean i am also a victim of this i think of myself it's my mistake that i am a victim because everything seems so good that people are able to do so much and you just have these huge targets for yourself 
huge that you can do you will be able to accomplish so much and so you actually have to revisit your targets what are you trying to do and uh, and you really need to be true to yourself is it even achievable or you're just pressurizing yourself or not uh, for something that's not doable now there's a very important thing to realize there's a very thin line you have to be true to yourself and that means that you should not be like accept a defeat you know there's a, there is a very thin line when which you accept defeat and you know just set very small targets for yourself the thing is you need to have a very reasonable targets of of what you need to do so once you approach this and once you realize that how do the, did the targets that i set for myself were they good and are they achievable and i found that my, the targets that i set for myself were too high and uh, so you need to figure out what are the what are the other ways in which you can you know achieve the same target and uh, without the idea is not to do it with too much work because that's what will just continue that cycle that you have been in for that entire time and uh, you need to change your work style I, i mean different people have their different work style and sometimes we don't realize that our work style itself and the timetable that we set for ourselves itself can cause too much pressure on ourselves and we have this expectation okay in one week i have to get a video done i have to write an article and i have to read also so much if you keep combining all these things they are they end up actually that is just too much for your brain to handle you know it's just simple as that you need to think of your brain as a child you know like small child you where you have to negotiate with it that what all you want to do and how will you do it because the thing is it's not a it's not something that that's the mistake i thought it uh, that you can just keep on working and never give it rest i had to learn it the hard way and uh, <clears throat> you need to look at your work styles and uh, your time tables and your schedules and how how exactly are you are you giving yourself proper breaks and all and the second approach is the emotional approach in which sometimes logic doesn't work at all i mean you don't really understand why is this happening and you are just not in the right place and your thoughts and the task oriented techniques okay no i'll do this i'll do this those things don't work in those times you have to remember why you started this what is the reason that you are here why did you start this journey and once you have an answer to that you will start connecting dots you will start going back that i did this because this is what i want to do and you have to realize that this is not the end this is just a pitfall this is just a small small you know drop in your performance and you will get out of it because there is something bigger that you are after once you reinforce yourself with those things and you know not in those moments don't try to get things done be there just observe things and feel good inside okay this is what i have what i'm trying to do and this is what i have done that will alleviate some sort of stress and you will be in a much more better state of mind so once you are in much more better state of mind you need to think about it again like if you are facing some problem there there were there would have been reasons why you are in this state and the thing is you have to work on things so that you don't come back to this state again because trust me it will keep on happening again and again and sometimes you just don't know like uh, i have uh, i have this thing that i always want things to done things i want to get things done very fast and that 
that is how I have always been, right? I never realized that it will be ever a problem for me. That but now I realize that this approach of mine is not good in the long run. The thing is, you have to enjoy your life and enjoy your enjoy doing things and you know just enjoy your life while doing work even if it comes at the cost of work and the thing is it's all about a balance you know you have to do sometimes you can do too much work sometimes you can rest too much but the idea is to find a balance you know that you can't just be like work all the time and play all the time you have to navigate between those states and uh it it comes down to be being patient the thing is burnout is a state of mind and you will never be in the same state of mind you need to have patience and think about it and you know you need to have patience and have hope in yourself that you will come out of it and you will have a better way to handle it so i'll keep this i'll keep only this much in this video um uh, bye bye